Okay, so while we wait for the sponge to cool down, one large carton double cream. So although we've made fatless sponge, <laughs> which is, as I say, low in fat, we're gonna put it all back in now by using some lovely double cream. And into the double cream, I'm gonna put one tablespoon of sugar and just one or two drops of vanilla essence. Just one or two. There you go. And whisk away. So always keep an eye on your cream that you're whisking. As soon as it starts to show lines, it's pretty much almost there. It's very easy to over whip cream. And if you do that, you just lost a pot of cream. So here's our lovely chocolate sponge we made earlier. And all we're gonna do now is just trim it up a bit. None of these bits will go to waste. So we can just have a snack on those later on. As you can see, nice, light, fluffy sponge. So, if we cut that like so, and all I'm gonna do is cut it in half. I guess that's half there you go so that's our sponge cut up now the first half is going to go on the plate move that out of the way and there's our sponge on the plate ready to decorate it okay so sponge piping bag full of fresh cream cherry pie filling. So all we're going to do pipe it like that that's the first bit tin of cherry pie filling that's all we're using In with a cherry pie filling. Just use half the tin at this stage. Push it into the corners. There we go. Then on with the second bit of sponge. And same again, a little bit of decoration around the sides. Oop. Mean that to happen. Put that. Rest of the cherry pie filling. And all that's left to do now is to put a bit of chocolate on top and we'll have a nice black forest gap though. There we go. How easy was that?
And there you go, finish it off. Some little bits of chocolate over the top and over the plate. And you can even put a bit on top of the cherry. There we go. One lovely black forest gato with fatless sponge. And I don't really want to waste this last bit of cream, so I'm going to put a couple of swirls on top. And that way, all the cream gets used up. Lovely. There we go. Can't wait to eat that.